YouTube, this is Carl Waters, and this is another episode of Back to Basics Stuns and Nades. So, today I'm going to be covering the map Arcane, and I'm not going to be doing any CTF nades because um, they're more situation based, whereas the search and destroy ones are going to throw, you can throw these at the beginning of each round, so they're more useful, I find. So, once again, I'm going to give you an overall perspective of the whole map, and as you can see, the the blue patch marks the defending team, the red is the attacking team, and I've also marked both bomb sites. And just note you can sit at either of the bomb sites, and if you turn up your volume quite loud, you can hear them planting at either at either bomb. So, so this is the defending team spawn. You can spawn anywhere on that rebel patch, and obviously that will depend where you run and how quickly you'll get that kind of thing. And this the this is the uh, attacking team spawn, so that you've got a you can jump over all those railings, so they're not too much of an issue. But right off, so right off the bat, I'm gonna gonna throw this stun to the top double stairs, um, and th this is quite a popular nade and spot, so that that's where you should try and aim that to land right at the top of the stairs. Um, this nade is the counter to it. So once again, I'm going to do the counters straight away, and this one you want to throw it straight over this this kind of billboard, and then you can just kind of pop up and and watch them come around either side of that kind of, of that kind of pole in the middle, um, and you should get them fine, or they'll go behind the desk. So uh, this need is to to paint. So what you can do is you can throw that need, and then you can just sit here behind the little counter, and you're in a perfect head glitch there. If you can throw it a little bit further than I did just there, because then you can get them, and you can say, like, call out to your team exactly where they are. So, this is the the counter to that nade. Um, me and me and Johnny did this in a private match, and we found that you can actually lie down right here, and if you throw the nade, I I throw it a bit high here, but if you throw the nade at about the height of the banister over there between those two poles you can get them perfectly every time and if you use a flash you can use that to just kind of run out and they won't they won't be able to see where you're going or or even if you ran out there if you want to do it as a decoy. Uh, this is a stun to the to the soda machines that they're, they're also rather, they're popular if, if your team if the enemy team's pushing the A side. So that's where that one lands. And and this uh, this stun right here is to to the middle of broken, so that can be useful if they're pushing. Um, if they pushed through green, and either they go in through soda or they go in through the hole in the wall, or even up the stairs. So that, that's a very useful need. Um, you want to throw it a bit further than I did again. And uh, this stun goes straight over, straight straight over the A bomb actually, and can can stop them going into the bar. As you can see, I I hit the the helicopter blades there so it didn't go so far but that's the one I threw first and as you can see that went right right up to, to where I am now really. Um, this stun is for if you don't see them go in A you can just throw a nade straight up well a stun or a frag straight up and it'll land right there as you can see where the smoke is and that will stop them at the billboard and if you go all the way up to the building and throw it, you can actually stop them right at the top of double. So this is the one at double and as you can see there, uh, they go quite far and the enemy's not going to know where you are or where you where you threw it from so that's very useful as a check if you if you don't see them coming through soda or or through the fountain. So this is if you're you're rushing straight to Avon you can actually throw stuns and nades uh, through this little bit of curtain which gives you a bit of cover if you're trying to get the guy at the back of bar and if they're not at the back of bar and they're sitting at the front you'll the first nade I threw there would, would get them. Maybe you wanna when you're throwing that nade you wanna go a bit further to the left and throw it through the curtain a bit better than I did but these are only to give you a, a kind of general idea of where you can throw things. So this uh, this nade is if they're rushing the bottom of Esky and either going to, they, they can go straight out the door there or they can come up Esky so that stops them if they're running to the minibar it's quite useful and this is a little a little jump spot it's, it's very difficult you kind of have to 
run, jump, and crouch all at the same time there, and then you can make it onto this counter. And for, for if you're doing it, this in pub matches, you can plant the bomb up here, and you won't be able to defuse it from the ground. But you're not allowed to do that in game battles matches because it's seen as unfair because it's really hard to get up there. And you can actually get behind this counter, which, which you are allowed to do in game battles, but the only problem with that is that it is impossible to get back out without killing yourself. So if they plant it to A, you are completely... You've lost, you've just lost that round really, so you kind of enter at your own risk really. So once again, thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode and found it useful. So I'm out. See ya.